We're so happy you're here. I've actually been mm. reading your horoscopes for quite some time. Oh, on astrologyzone.com? Exactly. And they're very different than what you read in magazines. They're not two lines. They're like two to four Long. pages. Yes, even more than that, yeah. So what is your mission when you're writing these? I write for people who don't believe in astrology, who have never had any contact with it. I don't use technical terms, and if I do once in a while, I define it. And I just want people to know that it's great for planning and, you know, to, to get to where you want to be. Susan, I think it's natural when somebody hears that you're an astrologer, they're going to ask you, what does my future hold? Yeah. That's more what a psychic is. Can you explain maybe the well, difference between difference. the two? Astrologers study the cycles of the planets, yep. and when they reach a certain degree, like uh, 60 degrees, 120, 180, that is significant. Imagine all the little planets at a cocktail party. You might walk in, <laughs> and three may be talking, and two over here may be arguing, one may be looking out the window. You, I have to make sense of their conversations to us down below. And we all have a ruling planet, so I have to pay attention to each sign's ruling planet. Yours is Mars. Yeah, that, yes, that makes you sense. You want to win. See, I can see Uranus getting he wild. He does want to win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my Aries, gosh. Aries has spectacular career aspects, and you really have to go for the gold. Watch January when there's a big buildup of Capricorn planets in your 10th house of honors, awards, achievement, but you have Jupiter in the house of money. And all the Aries out there should be working on performance-based That's what my salary. contract negotiation is oh, in January. So. Okay, okay, do me. I'm next. Do me. Do me. Okay, I got to tell you, I'm nervous because I only want good things in my oh, future. Sure, so I don't want you to predict anything that now, could you're not Sagittarius, be less than great. Right? I am a Sagittarius. Yes, Sag really came through three years of a lot of testing. You Girl, let me tell you. <laughs> she knows my life. I'm oh, on the couch. God. I'm and on the you, therapy couch. Go and, ahead, girl. And at... Around Christmas time, you took Saturn off like a big heavy coat. Oh, it was And happy. you walked away from that. <laughs> and guess pass. what? Right now, Scorpio is the celestial favorite, but we all have to share. Okay. Jupiter takes 12 years to go around the sun, so each sign gets a year. You're coming up November 7th, and it will What's last 13 November? months until December 2nd, 2019. So you're going to have a spectacular year next year. Oh. I'm, Susan, I'm so glad you came No, in it's really today. true. You'll <laughs> see me writing it. I'm not just saying so, it's But wait, you happy. November 7th, what's going to happen on well, that Well, that's day? when Jupiter goes into Sagittarius. You're also going to travel a lot to foreign countries. You love that. Girl, why are you even coming here? <laughs> no, well, Sa year. that's important to Sag. They, they really they'll even delay marriage to be able to travel more you know they always yeah, want to I didn't do that. see the world <laughs> no but that's okay okay I mean, most of us have a life before children during children and after they leave you know because you're more free i'm in okay. that sweet spot now okay. <laughs> okay you gotta do her do her so i'm a capricorn well you have the most extraordinary chart i've seen in a long time wow when, oh my goodness and you're on my iphone because i wanted to show it to you most of your planets you were born in uh, what year was that again? Uh, 1991. Yeah, that was the year all the Capricorn planets went together. Now here's how it goes: when it's bad, it's harder than any of us know for her because they're like planets in a little box and, and they get hit by other aspects. But when it's good, it's better than any of us can even imagine. So your entire spectrum is big. Wow. Now you're being tested the way. You were, Felicia, and, but you're up to it, and you have Pluto helping you, and, and you have Saturn standing behind you, Jupiter standing behind you. So it's not as hard as it was for you because she has support right now. Okay. Thank goodness okay. for Pluto. <laughs> and so you've studied Pluto for 12 you? plus years to become an astrologer. Well, my mother knew astrology and said, I'm not even going to start teaching you unless... Wow. You're willing to stick it out. I was paralyzed during an operation to save my life, and I wanted to know if I'd ever walk again. And I had to give up high school and do homeschool so I could do all the physical therapy. And I was in the hospital a year. So I thought when this whole you know, thing is over, is it going to have a, a nice ending? No. And that's why I went into astrology. Oh, and now wow. I want to show people that you can get through anything, and I try to help you. I, I call it getting out of the briar patch, like okay. a little 
Peter Rabbit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, Susan, thank you so much for being here. You're oh, clearly a fighter you. to make your way here to yeah. Chicago <laughs> to be with us. And we all got great news, so you brightened our days. <laughs> uh, make sure astrologyzone.com is where you want to go. Like Danielle said, she checks it out every day. You should make sure you do just the same.